having had five, six girls on rotation at a time, it gets expensive. And I mean expensive with a capital E. It's a capital E. Even if you're not taking them out on dates and you're just inviting them over to have a glass of wine with you. Glass of wine with you, sir? Well, one bottle of wine is going to be eight bucks. And if you're doing that five times a week, it's about 40 bucks. And they'll probably eat some snacks, stuff of that sort. So at the very least, you'll be spending around $50. Yeah, like 50 bucks. Across 50 weeks, then that's probably going to add up to just about $2,500. Frank, where'd you get all that money? Which could be used for a variety of things. If you guys are in college, or if you guys are saving up for a house, for a down payment, if you get a 3% FHA loan, stuff like that. 10 years from now, if you put that in a 401k now on the stock market, S&P 500, that's probably going to yield you a lot of money. Stock market, real estate. So it is a cost. So you got to think about the opportunity cost and the long-term cost of spending money on these girls. Having your girlfriend is even more expensive than that. The most expensive girl. So I'm saying at the minimum, you're probably going to spend a thousand bucks a year. And a thousand bucks to my angel. Having some sort of relationship, whether it's casual, rotation, whatever it is. But let's look at the long-term relationship. Let's say you are dating a girl, right? Well, now you have to make sure you pay for the dates, you pay for her drinks, you pay for dinner, give her a gift for her birthday. Happy birthday to you. This way, this way. Give her a gift for Christmas, so on and so forth. This could actually add up. Let's say a night out in today's current economy and due to inflation is probably going to be a hundred bucks minimum at a decent place. You know, with like a nice restaurant, some nice clothes. And so if you're doing that once, twice a month, you can see how that starts adding up. On top of that, the gifts for Christmas could be saving. And again, the opportunity cost of that over the long run is pretty deep. I'm pretty deep in this business. So you guys want to make sure that these women are actually treating you right and they're actually worth not just the money, but the time you're spending on them. It's just an excuse for us to spend time with you, Josh. So that's number one, is the biggest benefit of staying single is that you're not gonna spend nearly as much money if you go on an instant date during day game or at night if you buy her one drink. All right, one drink, then you're gone. Okay, which by the way, if your interaction is going good at night, then one drink should be bought for her because you already know she's going home with you anyways. Wouldn't it be great if I was going home with you tonight instead of fill the pill? Then that's probably the cheapest way to get late. Number two, when you're a single man, you have time to yourself. And I don't know if you guys do not have experience with a lot of women. Terrified of women. Women on your phone, whatever it is. Even if there's no title, even if she's not your girlfriend, she's still going to want you to respond almost immediately. She's going to get a little insecure. She's going to need reassurance. I was hoping for some reassurance. And communication is a huge part of it. So it's not so much the cost in monetary terms, but the cost of your peace. Actually, it's not about the money. Your mental peace is huge. For me, as a guy, at this stage in my life, although I do kind of keep tabs on the girls that are good, right? I say, oh, okay, Brooke, she's an amazing girl. I think you're an amazing girl. I want to keep her around because if I do decide to settle down, I think she'd be a great candidate. Even though I am doing that, they still require some maintenance. You can do some maintenance too, huh? And what we call this is rotation maintenance. You're going to have to go ahead and do some sort of maintenance with her. And this is mental, right? This is emotional. You have to listen to them. Listening to her is one of my biggest regrets. You have to do these type of things for the girls. And when you're single, you don't really owe any girl any explanation at all. And that's absolutely huge for your sanity. I think my mask of sanity is about to slip. And your mental peace. So that's number two. The fact that you don't have to do any of those things at all. And you're going to be a lot more peaceful. Your mind is going to be able to focus. And you need to focus on the problem, Mr. Stark. On your career or other things that you might want to develop at the time. Last but not least, guys, number three, one of the most underlooked aspects of being single is your self-development. Yes, and I mean that there's such a thing as relationship weight. I don't know. I mean, it just look like you need some relationship weight. I don't care who you are. If you have a healthy relationship, unless you're a crazy bodybuilder, you're likely to put on some sort of weight. I see you got fat. Why? Because she wants to go out. She wants to have fun. And if you got a girlfriend or a girl who is an amazing cook, it's going to be really hard. I know. I know it's really hard. To say no to that. And I'm talking from experience. The more time you spend with her, the more comfortable you get. And that drive and that ambition starts leaving your body. Three generations of men with no ambition. You know, Andrew Huberman, a famous Stanford psychologist, he made a whole 
cool study about this is that it literally releases a hormone that makes you lazier. They got lazier and fatter, I got thinner and richer. And when you're surrounded by estrogen, which you'll probably be surrounded by, you know, your girl a lot of the time, it's very likely that you're gonna lose some of that ambition. And your self-development physically is way better when you're single. At least for me personally, the times I've been in my best shape is when I'm single. I was engaged once. But I'm single now. With the boys and we're all dialed in. And this is really important because I always feel my best like that. I'm able to go box four or five times a week, lift four or five times a week, and I feel great. Nathan. Great. Even having a diet is very routinely dialed in. And then even drinking on Fridays and Saturdays, that has little to no impact. The impact on your life. Earlier on in your early 20s and even into your early 30s. So that is a huge benefit of one, being single, is that your physical development is going to be a lot easier. Now, when I talk about self-development, it's not just physically, but also what you want. When you're single. Stay single as long as you can. It allows you to go out there and understand women on a deeper level. And I think a lot of guys struggle with this because you guys get played and that's totally fine right everybody gets played no i didn't win because she played me. it's just that when you go into a long-term relationship and you don't really understand and know women at a level that an expert such as myself or brandon would sometimes you guys fall for a girl who sells you hey i'm a good girl and then my past is really good oh but you know sam i'm a good girl and and she's really good at really hiding those red flags. So that development, right, that experience with women is something that you develop when you're single because you're like me and you at one point you have five rotations, six, seven. That's three rotations. They're kind of coming in and out and you're seeing how they're behaving. And you're still going out on weekends and you're hooking up. So you're gonna hook up with them? All this stuff, you truly get a feel for what women are like. You truly get a feel on how they react when you call them out. You start communicating better. You start realizing things are different and not as sugar-coated. You know what I mean? I can't beat around the bush or sugarcoat them as you want them to be. Unfortunately, us as guys, as men, we want those girls to be good, but a lot of times they're just really good at hiding those red flags and those aspects of a relationship. And that's okay. I enjoy being single is because I save money. That's another way to help you save money. I start looking physically fit. I'm dialed in. I'm making more money. My career's better, so on and so forth. If you guys are ready to settle down, if you guys want more casual dates, whatever it is, go ahead to make sure to click that link below and sign up for a free call with us. We'll get you on track to get there if you want those rotations. If you actually want to look for a girl that's worth your time, a long-term relationship will guide you through all that so you don't have to struggle like we did.